Hi everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Today we're gonna be doing our Christmas home tour and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a great cozy home tour. And also we're gonna continue on with our garden tour. Today this is gonna be our garden tour number six. For all of you guys that have been following for such a long time, thank you. And today we're gonna continue with our giveaway that we have been carrying on for everybody that have been following. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe so you can also participate in the game. And also enjoy all the things and tips that we're sharing here of how to convert your house into your home and your lawn into your garden. Plus all kinds of do-it-yourself, home remedies, health and wellness, and everything of sorts. As you can see, this is the entrance in the foyer. And in the foyer, we have our welcome sign. This is our beautiful snowman and snowman guy. And this actually came from the trash. This was somebody that threw this away in the old apartment that we used to live. And we saw it by the dumpster right there on the side when we were throwing something and we got it. So somebody sells trash can actually be your treasure. And it's only missing a little letter, but I love it. We did a video of how to do your garden, your own garden. So all the garden that you see around the staircase, that was made by us, right? And so you can go ahead and check that video so you can see how we use the spruce tree, the holly berries, and also some tuja arborvitae. And here we have our rotating tree. And all the trees that you're gonna see here, we have a few trees. You're gonna see that they all have a lot of family memorabilia. So everything here is gonna be things that we have been gathering over the years. And I love that you had that special meaning. I'm gonna give you a tour telling you what you're seeing. And then after that, you can go ahead and enjoy a few minutes of just, just the decoration with some music for you guys to enjoy the decor as you keep on walking like if you were having a tea and having a chat and just walking through the house. Some of the things that are in here that I really, really enjoy is, well, we have some signs that we got throughout the years, but you can see some of them that really have a great meaning for us, like things that were given to from, from, from the family to us. This was from Justin's mom, so it has a lot of meaning. But I want to show you the face of my cielo, my sweetheart, Justin. And this was something that we did for his work. And I just love every time that we walk in here in the front entrance and we get to see him just rotating in the tree. It just brings me so much happiness. So I hope that it also brings you some happiness to you. And this is something that you also can go ahead and play. So it was just a picture. We cut the picture out and we use it then as the face of Santa. So now Justin is in here. He is Mr. Santa. And so sometimes we also put in here some candy. So while people are in here, you can just go ahead and go into the back and grab your candy. We always have some pictures. So we love to, to have pictures in the tree. And we have always some memorabilia of people. This is from his mom as well. So it's really nice. So that's a little, a little bit of Christmas from Justin to you. Here um, we put also some nature here. I'm gonna show you that in detail. And you have the wreath over there that you saw a video. If you haven't seen it, you can go ahead and check it out. It's going to be in the folder, the playlist only for Christmas. But I'll put it also in the link below. All the different videos of Christmas so you can check it out as well. So let's go ahead and check our dining area.
and you can see that in the front of the, uh, the front door we also put a wreath even though that we have a wreath in the outside we also have a wreath in the inside with our blessed sign and a little cross over here because we're Christians in here and we celebrate the birth of Jesus and we have then some little pillows in here really nice and then we have some trees and gold trees over here as well and then as you can see it's two, two trees and the sides as well with a mistletoe over there and another mistletoe over here and a mistletoe over there so if somebody stands in here in the middle then they're definitely gonna have to kiss somebody because they're under the mistletoe <laughs> Really nice. I like that. Make it more cozy, more us. We have incorporated lots of pieces of red and also green, especially in nature. So you can see that in every single one of the shelves, there's going to be some branches of the Tuja Arborvitae. So again, just go outside, anything that you have at home, just cut a few branches and then put it around the house and will definitely give you that cozy feeling that you're looking for. We also then put some red, so this is just a normal base that had another flower arrangement. I just removed that from there and I went ahead and added a tree. This tree has been with us for many, many years, so it, you can just go ahead and play with the certain decoration that you have at home. This was just another base that was for some fake flowers. Go ahead and switch it, and already you have something that is gonna be Christmas-like. We put also the same pillows. You're gonna see those pillows all throughout the house. Whenever you're doing different decoration throughout the house, find something, one thing, that you can go ahead and repeat throughout the house and that actually helps you to transition into the other room without feeling that there's much of a clashing. So in here, there are the pillows. The pillows are all throughout the house, the nutcracker as well, and some of the gold trees, the gold trees, you can see them all throughout the house as well. So I'm not gonna show you everybody, but that's my grandma and my other grandma. So yes, we come from a very mixed family. And you can see then some of our decoration over there. We have the nutcrackers over there, the little pillows that I mentioned before. And again, you can see then we had a joy sign over there that actually can light up. We have it light up right now. Then we have our snowman over here. We always have some light. And I always like to have a playful area. I don't wanna have a museum. So a lot of the decoration is things that you can use it for multiple purposes. So I love this, that you can play tic-tac-toe over here at the same time, use it as a decoration as well. And so we have then, these are just patio furniture that we're actually gonna be switching later on. And then we have then our trees and our trees. This, they light up during the night. And over here, we also have a little wreath. So I'll show you the house, how it looks during the night because we do like to incorporate a lot of, a lot of lights. It's really nice. From the foyer, I wanna show you also that we have in here our little nativity scene. And this is a really old, old nativity scene. It's from when Justin was a little tiny baby. So if you are a mom and a father and have a present that you want to give to your kids this is a nice present to give to your kids i love the story that he has been holding on to this for almost 40 years it's just unbelievable from the front door over here then you can go ahead and remove your shoes and you can then go in here to remove your shoes this is the remove your shoes area and this is nice present over there from Joseph's mom and it sings really cute and that's our last Christmas picture 
everybody dressed up so you got a little sneak peek of the family and now we're gonna go into the great room so from here you can see that we have a garland in one of the doors for the basement and you can see that we put also some stockings we have another garland over here for one of the rooms another garland for the bathroom then every door has something that you can hear and then because this is so dark over here we put this well let me put the light on we put one of these but i'm going to show you how the house looks during the, the night and you can then enjoy it with your music on and so that as you can see has one of the berries that we just got from the garden holly berries hanging and then from here really nice just gives you that little christmas look and we have our beautiful passion fruit plant how cute it is and it's going all the way up over there and that's the goal i put a string so it can go all the way up but we have also on top of the nativity area we have lots of those tuja branches so that is all throughout the nativity we put some lights so that during the night it just lights up and we can always see baby jesus and pray for him and and say hey we, we want you to come over here come into our home you're welcome and so it always brings us back to the meaning of christmas and so we also put more of that um decoration of the spruce trees also in the bottom so we have it all throughout the house we have lots of nature because you guys know that i love nature and there's so many things that you can do so let me just show you then the view that we have over here and also in detail what we have in this side to the great room this room over here we decided to make it very cozy we this is the room that we spend the most time and so we share a lot of memories just in this area so we wanted to definitely spend a lot of time over here decorating it to the way that we feel more the most cozy so you can see that we have multiple blankets so that we can snuggle up and then multiple pillows as well always incorporating those pillows that we have seen all throughout the house as well you can see that we have three of the different trees and all the trees you can also notice that they have different toppers so they're not all the same and again this can change next year as well so all the trees they are full of memorabilia of stuff uh, that we have gathered throughout the years so you're not gonna see that there's a crazy decoration of like really glamorous decor in each tree it's a lot of little tiny little things that we have gathered throughout the years of things that justin likes and that i like or gifts that we have received so a perfect gift 
that I enjoy and that I think that is a pretty, really nice thing to get to somebody is an ornament that you can also save it throughout the years and then you can then display them in your tree. So in that tree over here, then you can see from here that we have our letters for Justin and I and that was actually given to us by Justin's sister and I really enjoy them a lot and they have been very delicate every time that we, we um, save them for the next year because they are very delicate they can break easily so we're very happy every time that we see them every year in Christmas and you can see that we put some stockings we're gonna have our family um, praise be to God hopefully they can come my mom and my father that I haven't seen for like two years so I'm very happy so hopefully we can enjoy them over here if not then throughout our video call as we have been doing for so many years so we have then the stockings for everybody one for each person and then we have then our nutcrackers as i said that you can see throughout the house and then in there i did not put the lights on but i'll i'll put the candles on for you those candles are electronic so we can light it up and then you can see that we have some little houses and then the trees that I mentioned before that they are throughout the house as well. Remember that we did the, the tree topper bow. So you can see the tree topper bow, how it is. I really love it. I enjoy it so much. So if you really want to learn how to do that tree topper bow, there's a video in our Christmas and it's going to be a link down below. So you can also go ahead and check it out. It's a beautiful way, easy way to do your three topper bow.
kitchen is definitely gonna be another thing that's gonna be changing later on. Many things are gonna be changing here, but we're we're taking you guys along with all the journey and enjoying because we're definitely enjoying every single phase and feeling grateful for the phases that we're in. So right now, what we do, we always want to incorporate uh, some coziness and family and memories into everything that we have. Something that we used to do in the apartment is that we would put a string and we would pin some cards. So we always switch it because of course we have a huge box of collection of cards that we have gathered throughout the years. So we always switch some cards that we're gonna be displaying. So now we have some of the cards. You know that you always receive some cards in the mail. And if you are alone and you don't have no cards in the mail that you're receiving, Go ahead into any website online in Facebook and there's gonna be lots of cozy, hee um, websites and in groups and just join one of the groups and get a pen pal. And you can guys go ahead and change cards throughout the whole seasons in Easter, in autumn, every time during Christmas, during your birthday, and you'll receive then letters in the mail. And you're gonna see that that white tree is this, the whole thing in here. So you can see it all on the top of the cabinets and you can see the little tiny houses as well. And so the trees are going to be in each corner, like holding them. Those are your anchors, right? And so we also have some of the nature. So you can see nature always in every single room. So we also have nature in here as well in the center and our gold tree as well in the center. So you just Thank you with us. So we have already um, done the floor downstairs and you have seen many of the rooms. Now let's go upstairs and check our hallway.
for the upstairs, again, as we have in the trees downstairs, all of our trees are based on decoration of memorabilia. So we incorporate nice ornaments, but always most of the tree is little things that we have gathered throughout the years. And so you can see that with this tree, but now that we are in the second floor, we are playing with the different colors. So this is the area that we have trees that are different colors. As you saw downstairs, everything was marked white, red, gold, but in here it changes more into a playful area. And so in here we still have our garland all throughout the whole railing, which was made by us. And you can then again check out the video. And you can see that there's a big breeze in here when you walk in by the foyer. You can see that in the Juliet balcony. Towards this side, you can see that we have some gold trees that are in those consoles in each column. So that looks really homey, really Christmassy. And then I just give you a little bit of a sneak peek of our rooms. But we are, our rooms are also decorated. I think that maybe next year I'll do more of videos of the rooms, how you can make it more cozy if you're having guests and stuff like that. But our room has also a Christmas tree. So the master bedroom also have a Christmas tree.
you know guys that we have our giveaway we're doing a contest a game and so the game rules are the following we have a playlist that is called the garden walk each garden walk gives you a clue by giving you the nicknames of my plants so this game is for people that really like this channel so you just go into the garden walk check the different nicknames go ahead and subscribe to our channel and the first five people that send me a list matching the plant with the nickname the most plants matching the plants with the nickname sending it to my email at jaliscommunity at gmail.com and i'll put them in the description of the whole rules down below and also over here then i'm going to show you also the package of what you're going to be receiving this is only going to be for us only territory i know that we have many viewers that are from canada from australia from all over the world india philippines everywhere and i thank you so much guys and i'm going to definitely continue doing giveaways after this one this is going to be the big entry way right the big contest that we're doing and so um i'm going to display showing what is going to be the giveaway in the garden walk number nine the garden one number nine but so far let me tell you that's gonna be definitely a monetary gift and there's gonna be also many different things of the things that i like from different seasons and also a special gift of things that i'm working on so that nobody has seen and i haven't shown it to no one so you guys are gonna be getting it um first five people so I'm going to show you then the basket and all the things that you're going to be getting, the box um, and the garden walk number nine. So this is our garden walk number six. So there's still three more to go. So and the garden walk number 10, I'll then announce all the winners and I'll send in all the gifts. So thank you so much for following. But now let me show you two nicknames um, for this garden walk. So for this garden walk, um, I'm going to show you then our ferns. So you see that fern over there and that fern over there? Those two firms, I have nicknamed them Alvin and Fabian. Alvin and Fabian. So now you guys have a few. You know that our passion fruit plant over here is Rumi. So I'm already giving you a few hints of the things that we have before. That one over there is Beva, like my grandma. So you guys got that one. And now you got another two, which is Avin and Fabian. So add that to the collection.
that side has all kinds of little bushes and plants because we're trying to do the hedge that's going to be very cottage like but then in the middle right here we left it open so the idea in the future we're going to put then one of those italian cypress that's going to look really fancy in the future right here and another one in here so it's going to make that entrance going in and this was it's new this is a new addition you guys saw me when i was putting the the society garlic and at the same time that i was putting society garlic around the crepe myrtle and here in the center then i also did that hedge and i showed you how i did it using a plastic hedger and now we just fill it up with some gray rocks just like the ones that we have in the other side i added some extra plants which are going to be blooming in purple in spring and we put some lights which looks really nice during the night and we need to in the future put around it huge big chunks of rocks which is something that we need to add also to the other section of the side of the walk but little by little it's getting there so you guys have seen all the progression I have put many lights everywhere so you can see that all of our Tuya tree they have um, lights and they look really nice at night. We have our Santa letter um, over here, mailbox, super cute. It just makes me want to just write letters immediately and start putting it in there. And it actually has a basket in the bottom so if somebody wants to drop a, a letter it will actually can be collected in the bottom, really nice. And so for this over here we just added some of the branches as you can see just added some branches of the spruce tree so if you do have any branches you can just go ahead and stuck it in there i cut also some holly berries and i put some holly berries in there as well i already had it planted in here the the miller the dusty millers so the only thing that i did was i cut some branches stick it in there and they're gonna eventually go you know fade away lose the the leaves but they're gonna last at least one to two months so that's more than enough for this season and here i also had in the middle i have my tuja arborbitae really beautiful this was already here the other thing that i did was add then add more branches in the outside to make it then look more christmasy and then put some lights put also some decoration and that it's it and that as i said is gonna last then for like a month or so the same with this side over here and the same with this over here so that gives it already a really nice pizzazz of christmasy And we are all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you really enjoyed this beautiful Christmas cozy walkthrough and also our garden walk. I know that I did. May you have an amazing day. Enjoy your day and enjoy the miracles. And don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like this video and share with your friends and family. Bye. Enjoy your day and enjoy the miracles. Ciao.